So a very good evening boys and girls, welcome back to another video and I'll come down to a very random woods tonight in the middle of nowhere and we're going to do some very random handheld macro photography. So I've got my 5D Mark III, my macro lens, my Sigma 105 2.8 and I've brought my flash gun along with me for a change. Now, I did have a homemade diffuser on the front of this flash gun, it was two baby scratch mitts but um, it was just blocking too much of the flashlight so I've decided we'll take it off and we're going to go in naked. Uh, if that's even a thing with flashes. So let's get stuck in and we'll go for a walk around the woods and just take some handheld macro photos just for a piece of fun tonight. So let's go. stood in the bush here, it'll probably look a little bit weird, but it's covered in all these green and orange and red berries and everything. And I've been playing around with the flash and taking a few photos, and I found three berries that I think are gonna work all right for this. So I'll run you through a few settings. So we're at 200th of a second, F10, and I saw 200. Now, the shutter speed here is quite important to me because I'm trying to keep the shutter speed to double the focal length of the lens. This is a 105 millimeter lens, so 200 millimeters on the focal length should be all right. I'll just eliminate a little bit of camera shake and also wobbliness in that sort of situation. And I've also got the image demolition tent on as well. So let's focus on the berries. There's three of them. Boom. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. There we go. I'll show you the best photograph and move off and see what happens. I'm finding a bit of a struggle tonight. I'm more of a camera on a tripod kind of person. I'm not really a handheld walking around the woods kind of shooter. And I, I don't know if I'm just taking pictures of anything and everything just for the sake of it and probably not putting as much thought into things as I maybe would do if I was doing landscape stuff, if that makes any sort of sense. I don't know if I'm just randomly firing off snapshots tonight. So I think it is what it is. Maybe because I'm tired as well. I've been up since five o'clock this morning on a 10 hour shift at work. It's now 20 to eight. It's been a long day. I think I'm a little bit tired as well, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely struggling tonight. It's once again, it's in the woods, very green again. There's a lot of green, everything's all green. And I'm not a lover of that. So yeah, we plod on, we carry on. We'll see if we come across something more interesting looking. I was expecting some flowers or something. I've seen one or two little purple flowers around, but not not anything that I'll really call interesting. So yeah, we'll carry on, we'll plod on and see what else happens. All right, so what we've got here are these old seed heads, but the seeds are still inside them. And I'm wondering if I can't fudge this and somehow managed to catch the seeds inside of the seed head. So if we turn the camera on, we might be able to take a picture of it as a well. Did we catch the seed heads? Yes, we did. Here's a photograph of the old seed head with some little purpley coloured seeds still inside of it. stage photograph because I'm running out of ideas. I found a snail shell, I've placed it on a tree root, we're going to use the flash gun on the camera, we're going to make the background all black and we're just going to make the snail shell really pop off on this tree root. So we're at F10, um, ISO is auto, whatever that is, 400, a uh, 200th of a second using the flash. Boom. I quite like this photo so I'm going to show it to you now and then I'm going to borrow slash steel slash just mug Dave's uh, macro extension tubes 
and we're going to do something just stupidly macro, stupidly close up, and just have a bit of fun and see what happens. So here's a snail shell, and then we're going to go crazy. <laughs> from my little tantrum I had earlier on now. Um, it's not going too badly. I've, I think I've got maybe half a dozen usable photographs. That's Dave in the background. He's, uh, he's taking some macro photos with some macro tubes. Um, yeah, I think I've got one over my little tantrum that I had, so I'm all right now. Um, I'm just trying to find a subject for a last final composition just to use Dave's extension tubes and really just go crazy with the macro lens, but the light's really sort of dying off now. You see over there, got some some dying light, it's getting late now, so there's not going to be too much longer left, I don't think, tonight. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a little look around to see if I can't find something. I'm probably going to stage it again. It's, it's difficult trying to find things on the floor. See, see, for macro photography, for me, it's more mushrooms in the autumn, that kind of thing. And mid-July, there's not a lot of mushrooms about, is there? So, yeah, let's go find one more photograph. All right, so this area is quickly becoming my office for the evening so what i've done i found a bed feather on the floor and i think we're just gonna go textury along the middle of is it the quill down the middle of is it the quill in the middle of a bed feather yeah yeah we're gonna use that bit as a bit of a as, as just a line to the image basically it's just gonna be a textury shot so um i've found the technique if i focus if i press the focus button and well let me get close enough in. I'm going to find my minimum focus just now. I'll get as close as I can. There we go. So if I hold the shutter button and press the focus at the same time, um, as soon as the camera locks on focus, it takes a picture and it stops me getting a blurry photo. So um, here's a picture of a bear feather, and then I think we're going to wrap this video up. <laughs> So, uh, this was a bit of a random one. I didn't really plan this. I didn't really know what I was going to come out and shoot tonight. I just kind of threw this together at the last minute. So I apologise if this video has been a little bit all over. Although well, there wasn't really a plan or an idea to it. So I'm hoping I've got uh, half a dozen images that I can work with from tonight. It's uh, It's been a bit of a chore. It's been a bit tough, to be honest with you. I'd woodland, I find difficult at this time of year. There's, you can see there's just greenery everywhere and... It's very, very uninspiring, but, well, it is what it is. So if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up because it really does help the video out and it does bring new viewers to see my channel and I would appreciate that, as always. Um, you can always press the subscribe button somewhere below me. Uh, you'll see more nonsense in the future. I usually have more of an idea what I'm going to shoot when I come out. Um, tonight's been a bit random, so, yeah, I'm leave you with peace and goodbye.